guys, it's Ali and Thea, and we're back for another episode of the Undecided Gen Z. This is the podcast where we talk about everything going on in our world, your world, and the world around us, and also chat to other Gen Zs doing interesting, inspiring, or influential things. Yes. Oh, damn it, I said it again! I'm trying but not that, to... But that yes was like a bit more like, yes. That was like... <laughs> it was more like, like, yes. That's it. No, but I was gonna... I like, in my head, I was gonna like say, like, that is the podcast. We no, are that podcast. it wouldn't have been the same. But I said, yes. It's Guys, like, I am now you're conditioned. conditioned. Have loved I'm, conditions. I'm you're a basically dog. a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just like we are so excited because today we're going to be speaking to Davis Burleson, who is a TikToker with over 280,000 followers. Yeah. And he is just so funny <laughs> and hilarious. And I can't the same believe word. he's on the podcast, honestly. I'm keen. And I, I just feel like he's going to be good vibes. He's going to be good to chat with. Mm, I'm so. Oh. Hopefully. No, I'm, no, he will. He will. I know, we're, we're putting it out there. We're, we're manifesting putting it out. Yeah. good energy. Yeah. He's going to like us. He's going to have a good time. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. Yeah, it's going to be The vibes. listeners will have a good time. Yeah. Everybody's going to be like, that That was it. That was a good podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, we've got some stuff to talk about first. Um, it wouldn't be a podcast without no. without some, some of us. <laughs> <laughs> we just had to squeeze in a bit of us talk first. We're just really self... <laughs> what is it called? Self-indulgent. Uh, yeah. Self-obsessed. No. Yeah, self-obsessed. That's more like And it. then we'll get to Davis, bring him in. And then after and then that, to we're going to come back. <laughs> Sorry, check no, back to you guys. What have Ooh, you guys been going on? That's true. That's true. Yeah. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about from what you guys sent in to our new anonymous submission box. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, no, but I'm ready for, like, for a secret. I want to hear a secret. Like we have this secret mm. section and it's been subsetted. We don't know what they we said, but them. we know that like... No, we haven't read them. No, we oh, haven't. Okay, yeah. Cool, yeah, yeah. yeah, we haven't read them, but they've been sent through. No, because there's heaps of like advice and heaps yeah. of other ones too, which we will get to. But I'm, I'm just really keen for the secret. Sorry, I'm like wanting to know people's secrets. It gives you like power. Is well, that weird? I'm keen to unpack all of Davis's secrets in a second. Oh, <laughs> no, I think it's like my polls that I do on Instagram. It's kind of like. I get this power from it because I can, I can see what people true. do. That's true. You look at all these polls and you're like asking for personal info. People yeah. just going through casually answering and then you're there like, this person answered this, this person answered <laughs> Well, I don't this. tell you. Uh, not to me, no, but yourself. No, but I know. And I love that I know. Like it just gives me like... You're the master like of it. evil information. Yeah. So, send through your secrets. <laughs> anyway, I think first we need to discuss because yeah. it kind of connects to what we just talked about last week. Ooh, so what? We, you just got into a serious run and like what? what oh, no, 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 okay, no, this is very light. But last week we talked about how we went, we went out and we went to the band of that dude, the lead singer. Dude no, that but have to... we done a review? Oh, have we done a review? Like... Oh. Excuse me, have we done a review? <laughs> <laughs> All the listeners are banging our doors saying we didn't get a review. We want to hear a review. <laughs> Guys, we actually did have a review this week. Yeah, the only reason why I said the review is because we got one. I was ner- it was looking a bit sketchy. Um, the bit. first we few days, to, like, I was a bit nervous. Oh, like, no, we can't even make even- one because people can see They it. can check. <laughs> There's the receipts. But our good friend Charlie Brunt, Brunt pulled through uh, on Wednesday and she said, great podcast, oh. five stars. So glad I you guys... I thought that was it. I thought it was <laughs> great, great podcast. Great podcast. I mean, we'll take that if you just want to say great podcast. I'll sure. take it. She said, so glad you guys are back for 2021. Absolutely love people picks and the juicy gossip. Keep up the good work, legends. Oh, that's so And Charlie's been there for she listening has. to us she has since, been like, the start. She has been since Active sending in stuff, so we appreciate it. Yeah, she's always been there, always hyping us up on either our Facebook page, either... We've really given her a shout out here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like on our... Um, she's just always there. Mm. Always there. Um, so thanks. Thank Charlie. Charlie, thanks, Charlie. Oh wow, I'm gonna pull up my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Charlie bit your finger is up to these days. Should we get him on the podcast? Why not? Honestly, <laughs> honestly. No. Okay. So, what you were saying? Yes, we actually had like a little moment of viral- virality this week. Speaking of TikTok fame, <laughs> like it was, it was a little. It was really, we haven't like <laughs> no. blown up. Let's be honest. <laughs> no. Okay. The funny part, like, so connecting back to last week, right? Yes. We obviously were out. We were at that dude's, um, the band mm-hmm. concert, right? And you were kind of seeing, like, interested in this, the lead singer. Um, but it was after that when he had said, like, oh, I'm going off home. And we were I thinking... I was drunk. You were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really prefacing that. I was very drunk. And you were I not as ready stupid. to go home as other people were, i.e. him. Yeah. We were like... <laughs> 
I just, I think I, it's, I wanted to get to know him more. Cause like we had talked briefly mm. three meters apart and I was kind of like, what's the vibe? I yep. was like, what's going on here? And but my so you're like mind, debating, you're like doing a bit of drunk test texting, mm, which I, I do often. <laughs> <laughs> is one, one of your things, one of your many yeah. things. Yeah, 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 we love. Um, and Charlie is trying, to, our friend is like trying to convince you not to send the text messages yeah. as we do. And so I decided to like pull out my phone and I record like a snippet of the conversation. Yeah, that so, was it. Was a long conversation too. You just got the end of it. It was like we were it there was for like back a and while. Forth. I'm just sitting there like, oh, guys, <laughs> and I like, may as well get some recording out of this. <laughs> but and then you just like randomly like you sent it to a group chat of us and we were like laughing hysterically because yeah. I was like, if this does not sum up me, yeah. I don't know what like what does. And then you just randomly posted to TikTok, just being like, ah. Oh. Cause it's like a random video. Like I was like, I was like yeah, thinking well, about it. Like mm. when I first watched, it, I was like, people were not know the context. Da 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 da. But there's enough of it to kind of like get yeah, what's happening. When those kind of videos like work, TikTok's so random. Like, but those specific type of videos sometimes can really hit. Yeah, because um, they're like kind of relatable. Yeah, and at the, it, which we'll get to what the comments kind of were. But this is the TikTok. Oh my god, <laughs> this makes me want to die. By the way, in like a fun way. Accept his decision and say you're excited for next time. Because this is just a hollow... No, Ali, please. Like, I'm just going to say it one more time. Listen to me. That is a bad... No, accept <laughs> his decision and say, you know, 100% on my life. No, I'm serious. You have... No, 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 delete, delete, delete. Don't. Ali, you will regret it so much. You've got to accept his decision and say you're excited no, to meet him again. It. You... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, let's book an Uber. <laughs> I just love he's in the middle of talking. I'm like, I've sent it. Like, I'm, it's like, my mind probably, I was already like, yeah. as soon as I whipped out my phone, no, I knew what I was doing. Him at the face, you're like, there's no stopping. There's nothing you could say. Like, uh, unless he physically took away my phone. You were just nothing. like, like entertaining I think, him. Yeah. After that, I called somebody else. Like, it was stupid decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. I think, like you said, it's not uh, the most viewed t- video on TikTok, but I, yeah. the response has been so funny because it's one of those things where, like, everyone, I think, has been you at some point. Yeah. And I think everyone has been, like, Charlie at some point. Oh, yeah. Maybe I not you. No, I don't think I've done <laughs> been that I know. In that situation, I'm the one with, like, yeah, send the send text. It. <laughs> I'm, not I'm like, yeah, I think it's a good idea. So yeah. don't come to me if you junk text. But um, Charlie's been, like, going off after that. Everyone yeah. loves him. The people, like... Because all the comments like, get me a friend like Charlie. Yeah. I need... Where's like, him on my I love so Charlie. Out. What's his at? da 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 I'm like, okay, but me? Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, nobody asked for my at. <laughs> like, they just want to know my star sign. I'm like, my at? Um, where everyone, where's my clout? And everyone's sure. in the comments like, guessing your star sign. Like, she's a Virgo. She's a... She's a fire sign. She's this, this, this. this. And, and like, like, I don't think anyone actually guessed your no, real one. So I'm like, this star sign business. Yeah. I'm sorry. Wrong. Sorry. But um, just for like an update on... Oh, well, just quickly on that story because I just decided to randomly post it and then I'd woken up the next day to a message while I only had like 10k views from one of those people that were like, we want to license your TikTok. Oh. And I was like, what TikTok? What does license I was like, this video. What does license mean? So it was, they run all those accounts like, you know, like Best Vines, Best oh. Funny Videos and stuff. And so, so they posted it to there. No, we will be. Oh. But then they have it like on their marketplace and businesses like or ads and stuff can like buy it and then you get like 50%. <laughs> So, any takers? <laughs> we are open for business. <laughs> um, just, there's so many moments like that that are like, damn, well, if that blew up, like, I know. that's I'm basically like, that's my life. Whole time. So, just quickly, like, what was the text you were trying to send to him? I don't And then know. what was the outcome of that? I don't know what the text was. Because Charlie, being the good friend he was, went on my phone and unsent it. Which <laughs> I actually don't know if that's better. He unsent the message and then he sent this, like, nice, like, grandma, grandma like, message back. That, like, the contrast between my messages was just so bad. But no, Charlie was a really good friend who did that. So I actually don't know what it said. I don't know if he read it. I don't uh, know. Probably just some sort of profession of your love being like, Love? No, 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 not love. It would have just been so like... good in the concert it, tonight. Your no, singing made me... Made my... No, don't even. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I don't even know what it was. Um, probably being like, uh, like being like, you come out or something like this. Something mm, like. Yeah, I think I'm you just an, wanted to yeah. see him again. He's like, yeah. I'm done. And then you're like, please. Yeah, and, and like, it was just maybe like, please come out. Like, I think it was something <laughs> like that. Anyway, it ended up he didn't come out. Um, Have you interacted with him since? Yeah. Well, okay. he listened to the podcast. Because <laughs> so he followed yeah. the podcast page. 
And then we posted like about the episode, and of course in the title it was like dating, dating a a s- musician or something. Yeah. And then I think he commented like some interesting. Emoji. He interesting. was like interesting. <laughs> as soon as I thought I was dead. I was um, yeah. So but he's been following the podcast page, and then when we posted that episode. Um, he messaged me and he was like, it was, loved the app. And I was like, oh. no, because I was like, the peeing <laughs> stories in it, like all that stuff. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm, I'm going to pass away. You know, some people, to some people, peeing is a turn on. Ew. It's like, <clears throat> it's a bit of a kink Stop. to some people. <clears throat> I don't know, man, um, liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he commented on that, said he listened to it with all his friends in the car and then sent it to his bandmates. I was like, <laughs> I was like... Okay, that makes me want to kind of die, cry. I don't know. And we've been on and off messaging. And then he apparently saw me on Chapel Street yesterday, which is quite interesting. From a distance? Yeah. Well, he was, I forgot he worked there and he's like, oh, I saw you on Chapel Street. And I was like, so you didn't say hi? Like, I was like, he's not really avoiding me at all costs. He's like, I I can't be seen with this girl. Like I have, I have to have no contacts, but but yeah, apparently he was working. Apparently, no, he was working. (laughs) I should should say he was working, Um, but there hasn't really been any progress. It's not like we've gone on a date. It's not like we've caught up. We haven't talked heaps, like very, he's busy though. He has like band stuff. He has gigs. Love a musician. Yeah. It's hard dating it. Lead guitarist. Lead I'm not guitarist. dating yeah. him. We haven't even got on a date. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that that's in the title. We're not dating him. I just have spoken to him on a dating app. Like, there's a difference. Is there a difference in 2021 in this yes. virtual world we're living in? There is. Like, I'm not dating somebody until we've been on three dates. Okay, or four so dates. Mr. Guitar Man, he's not even a guitarist. Guitar. Mr. Musician is not off the cards, but. Nothing there yet. Nah. But there's always people for me. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds so bad. <laughs> but like, there's always somebody or like something going on. Like this guy. Oh my God. I'm actually with him on Hinge. Okay. And, oh, it's so weird. We were just having like a normal yeah. conversation, right? And like just chatting and like, mm. he seemed kind of, we were just talked briefly about the podcast. We like matched before and nothing like came of it. So he knew yeah. about the podcast and stuff. And then this time we were just chatting and stuff and he was like, Oh, like, do you need help with the podcast? Like, oh. I can, like, here's my resume. Do you want my resume? And, like, my oh. skill- <laughs> I know my skill set. And I thought so, he was kind of just, like, flirting, be like, like do you want so, my resume and my skill set? So, like, you know, this is Hinge, not LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, like, I was, like, thinking, ha, ha, like, yeah. Like, thinking he was, like, flirting or, like, you know, oh, talking, okay. you know what I mean? That kind of yeah. thing. But no. I got a full resume. <laughs> I got a With full, like what on it? Well, it was just like a whole like skill set of like, I do finance and da da tech. Da, oh. da, da, da. Like I didn't know any of the language being used. So I was like, cool. So what does that mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> and he's like, I like want to help with the podcast. And I was kind of like, oh, that could be cool. Like maybe with finance or something. I don't know. Is he like looking for a side hustle? No, like, I don't he know. Want he's, but this? like, he's like a pretty like senior executive, like with like finance and but, stuff. So I was like, it's a bit odd. I'll, anyway, it was weird. And then, no, the weirdest part was, I was like, oh, I don't really know if there's anything, like, you can help yeah. with at the moment. Like, we don't, yeah, I don't know. But he was like, I will do any little errand. I'll, nothing's oh. too small. Okay. I was like. I mean. I was like. We'll oh. take an intern. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was also it was so odd. That I is was, so random. Yeah. It's easy, easy like. Say what do you want from it? No, Whereas, he doesn't want anything. He's like, oh, he I just like some work experience. He wants like branches the like media 25, field. But he's like twenty five, twenty six, and he's like, okay. I've got connections. If you need help with some things like video editing, like I don't know. And I was kind of like, oh, that's nice, but I don't even know who you are. And oh. like, I low key. I mean, if he wants to edit the podcast, yeah, like, but then I'm like it, having to like I'm not. Like it feels like a commitment, like a yeah. commitment without like dating, like because I particularly don't want to date him. <laughs> like I don't, I wouldn't I want mean, to. If we're getting hours of free work out of it, <laughs> take one for no. the team. Um, so it's just a bit weird. Like he's like, I'll do right. anything. Nothing's yeah. too small. I'm like, you're like a what, twenty six year old, twenty five year old man. Like why? Would I just you, know, like, what, why would you want to help with a podcast? What's, what, why? What's his motivation? Yeah, it's so odd. Anyway. So odd. I don't get it. We'll keep him in mind. In mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, We're growing the team, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got two people on board. So good. So, no, it's just a bit odd. But, like, men are always odd. Anyway. So, now we've got to go. Well, not go because we'll be right back. It's a podcast. What am I talking about? <laughs> but we've got Davis coming out. I'm so excited. As we said, like, I hope he likes us. I hope it's fun. Surely it will be, right? Yes. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'm excited. I hope um, you enjoy Let's go.
Ooh. to Davis. Here's Davis. Guys, we are back with the Undecided Gen Z, and today we are joined by Davis Burleson, TikTok legend, um, New York resident, but currently in Texas, and just all around awesome person. So thank you, Davis, for joining us today. Hello, I'm so excited to be here. How I'm so are excited you to have you here. Like, what? <laughs> it's just so <laughs> weird to hear, like, the American accent and, like, yes. um, to be, I don't know, to have a guest from America. It's very exciting. Mm. Southern accent, the Texas accent uh, in me. Yes. That's why it's so strong. I'm like, yes, we can just pick it up in- instantly, but that makes sense. <laughs> or if I say y'all, hey, y'all. Uh, how are yeah. oh. <laughs> I was that actually. Naturally? Is that a thing? Like, properly? Yeah. I always say y'all in every conversation. It is convenient, yeah. <laughs> I was actually born in Florida and, like, my family's from Atlanta. So, like, when I was younger, I grew up, like, in the south of America, like, southern America. So I had that accent starting out, too. Wow. Um, But, yeah, y'all is such, like, a cool thing. I had yeah. an extra flair. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to turn, like, universal. Everyone in, in New York is starting to use y'all, too. So I'm like, oh, bring in a little uh... southern twang. All yeah, but you're like, I'm not special anymore. Like, they, the Southern's no. gone. <laughs> They're appropriating the Tex- Texan culture. Anyway, so we wanted to start off, I thought it'd be interesting to ask you, like, what is a typical day in your life, like in the Davis Burleson life, when you wake up, a typical day? Um, a day in my life in New York. Oh, well, I do a day in my life in New York, like every single day, I always like vlog yeah. and stuff. <laughs> so I do that. <laughs> so that's why I've done a day in my life in New York City. I'm very used to, to that line, but since I'm home for the holidays, I've been home since Thanksgiving. So I've been at home for like two months now. So typical day back home is I'll wake up and do school usually for like until probably one o'clock. And then I start my whole TikTok life that I have. <laughs> and so I'll just start like uh, thinking of ideas and what I want to do. Um, and then I'll start recording. I just usually most of my videos I'll like record on my camera rather than TikTok, like I record yeah. on like my camera roll. And so I'll yeah, just like right. hit record and just record for like 20 minutes and just like not even press anything and just record and just talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause I can talk to a wall. I can talk for so long. And so That's then I'll right. just do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love to talk. Um, and so then I'll do that. And then after I finish recording, then I'll transport it to my computer, edit everything down. Um, and then I'll post my videos and do that. That's that's pretty much my day. It's very, very boring and very repetitive, but I have so much fun doing it. Like I love being a TikToker when I'm not doing you're school. You're like Hannah Montana. You've got like a double life. You like <laughs> got do. your school I life really and do. then you're a TikToker. Close <laughs> the book and like spin around like, and now you're a TikToker. Yeah, you're like, like the and AM I'm here. Like doing, yeah, it's like AM <laughs> I'm doing school. And then sometimes I actually feel like Hannah Montana because sometimes I throw on my wig and I pretend to be Jeffree Star. So that's always <laughs> exactly. really good. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think the Jeffree Star videos because were the first ones I actually saw of you and I think like that's probably for a lot of people was that like the moment that you kind of went off yes so I started I was I've been posting TikTok since April that's when I like started like right. actually oh. trying like and then during it was, quarantine and then, yeah during quarantine yep. I started like actually downloaded the app in like March like I didn't even use TikTok before quarantine I was old I was late but um, I, started rec- <laughs> I started making TikToks like throughout all throughout quarantine and then it yep. took until August and then I started doing oh. I did a Jeffree Star video in August and that's when everything it popped off up. and yeah and so then I started doing Jeffree Star and that's what I'm known for so like everyone will comment like hi Jeffree Star or like if people just <laughs> see me they'll say Jeffree Star like a lot of people don't even know my name which is really funny <laughs> they know me as Jeffree Star like one time I got noticed in, in public in New York I was walking like you're Jeffree Star on TikTok. I'm like, yeah, I am. Yeah. Or like, it's like Walmart okay, right? I guess. Star. Yeah. You need to jump on like too. the Willy Wonka TikTok train. And yes, uh, like Willy Jeffree Wonka Star followed TikTok. me like two days ago, which was insane. That's so a huge We were messaging flex. and stuff. Yeah. And he oh, also just posted a video on his TikTok saying like POV tapping through Willy Wonka's snap story, which is what I started. I did like POV tapping through Jeffree Star's uh-huh. snap story. And he gave me um, <laughs> oh. idea credits. He like tagged oh, me. Oh, he did. Okay. Action. I was about to yeah. like say, no, that's good. I was like, Willy, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Mr. Walker. No, but like, I feel like, do you find it difficult to then like separate yourself from like always making the Jeffree Star like videos and like being like that? Like, do you want to venture out and try your own stuff or like, like it how, like, I feel like, although it's like fun to be noticed and be like Jeffree Star, 
it's also like I am myself and I want to be famous for myself. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. I've been trying to find like a fine line between how often do I do these Jeffree videos and like, you know, like, so like in November was kind of when I like completely stopped doing Jeffree Star. So all of November mm. and pretty much all of December, I just completely stopped doing Jeffree Star. And I was like, I just don't want to do this anymore because yeah. I was getting bored of, of it. Yeah. I feel like I couldn't really do much <laughs> besides just like talk like him. And I didn't really know. Exactly. And also Jeffree Star wasn't really like trending at the time. And oh, then God, recently so, yeah. he had this whole like- he probably He's back, he's like, back up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you need like a Kanye lookalike. Yeah. Somebody who could do a Kanye impersonation. <laughs> yes, could. I know. I know. Uh, but recently when mm. Kanye West and Jeffree Star, that whole thing happened was when I had to get back on my Jeffree grind again and start posting mm. videos because Jeffree was trending again. Oh, but, <laughs> but like, why not? Like, That's yeah. one of the most like, random rumors ever. It, I, like, I never thought, thought it happened, ever. I know. I never really believed it either, but like, of course, I went along with it and like pretended <laughs> like it was true. Like when I heard that, like that day when it all like broke, like the all the rumors broke, I was like so busy that day. I was like leaving the house. I was I was literally walking out the door and I like, checked my phone and I saw like people, some of my friends were texting me saying like, oh my god, do you see this Jeffrey stuff going on? Whatever. And so I checked Twitter. I see Jeffrey's like trending everywhere. I'm like, okay, I need to stop what I'm doing today and I need to be Jeffrey Star. <laughs> You're like, so, like, I'm canceling ran. all of my plans. Yes, <laughs> oh, I god. did. I really did. But on the week, it's time for your Hannah Montana nothing. moment. moment. <laughs> yes, it was a Hannah Montana moment. And I like ran to my room and like put on my Jeffrey robe and like threw on the wig and started recording i had, didn't even know barely anything about the drama that was going on i just like hit record and just started do you but, like i'm um, on stage i'm ready yeah. i've got to go <laughs> yeah. once i throw on that wig it's like i am no longer davis I'm exactly Jeffrey star yeah. Jeffrey who, is davis? Star. who is davis yeah. who is who is he don't know it. i don't know <laughs> i only know jeffrey like, exactly <laughs> just got your gucci stuff in the back like you're good yes. you're good yes <laughs> I was surprised that he was like so quick to shut that down. Like he made a video like ASAP being like, guys, it's fake. And I'm like, surely this is like the time you could like need to capitalize off this relevance a bit. Like exactly. I thought the out- exact same thing. I'm like, he yeah. could have gone two or three more mm. days with this whole yeah. kind of rumor. Put out thing. Some, he, like, everyone was tweets. kind of, yeah. Like he was believing it. Like everyone was kind of believing it. It was like, trending everywhere so like i was literally. like why yeah. would you ruin it so quickly he could have just <laughs> been silent a longer. and it could have been fine just be silent yeah, exactly just or just yeah. like tweeted the emoji with like the Shh. Uh, <laughs> i signed an nda contract <laughs> i can't talk about it yeah sorry <laughs> yeah. <sighs> for anyone that doesn't like hasn't seen your tiktoks do you want to like describe basically like what your type of content is because you are more than Jeffrey like and you said yeah. you like to talk a lot which is kind of evident in your TikToks but like what's kind of your like your TikTok vibe, vibe? I would say I do a lot of impressions point of views mm-hmm. and then uh comedy always and then I like to do lifestyle sometimes so I didn't, haven't really been doing my lifestyle content recently because I've been in Houston which is not as fun <laughs> as my <laughs> New York City lifestyle but when I'm in New York I like pop off with my dim life videos and like oh, do fashion kind I of stuff. I love them. I, kinda, I crave mm. them. Like they're so good. <laughs> and I'm oh, jealous. I'm like, you. should I move to New York right now? Should I go? <laughs> Literally, quick side <laughs> yes, note. Please come visit me. <laughs> what yes. is New York like? Like, because me and Ali always joke about like, let's I've just been. Up, to New York. I've oh, been to New York. I know. I've really been, but I'm saying we'll pack up and move to New York. Like it's a vibe and a half, but is it truly yeah. as much of a vibe as our romanticized minds think it is? <laughs> I would say if you're visiting there, it's the vibe for sure. Mm-hmm. Like it's exactly like how it is, like how you see on TikTok. But when you live there, it's completely different. Like you see, like you see that people live there, you see what it looks like on the weekends. Whereas like during the week, it's like I barely even leave my apartment ever. <laughs> like I'm always working. I'm always mm-hmm. like, it's very, it can get very, very lonely. Yeah. Hustling. And everyone's always busy, always moving, you know? But like on the weekends, it's like that. It actually is the vibe. Like we we go out, we go to brunch, we go shopping, oh. we do all of that oh. stuff, and yeah, it's so <laughs> the, much fun. You go, to the dinner, you go to the park. Mm. Yeah. Do you get bagels? Is it like your date, like your thing? Like all oh, the weekend, I'm gonna bagels, or is it like a brunch yeah. thing, like a sit down, like? Like we like to pick up bagels, like at like local bake bagel shops and stuff, and then you walk down the street holding your bagel. Um, I'm in New York City. 
yeah just in new york just like, like to look life. at the architecture and stuff it's, it's <laughs> yeah it's great but i t- i actually like to save money so i actually like get like store-bought bagels and like mm. i have my makeshift bagel in my <laughs> no. room instead of that would, that would be me that would be me yeah <laughs> see i'd be the one spending money every single day and they would be like no i'm not and i'd be just there getting my iced coffee yes. my bagel like probably like, twice a day let's be honest i know <laughs> i would love to do that but like new york it's crazy because everything in New York is like double the price. Even like toothpaste mm. is like six dollars, eight dollars at the at the pharmacy. Whereas Jeepers. like in Houston, where I'm from, it's like all oh, like looking at like I went to Target like two weeks ago and I was shopping in like the toothpaste aisle. It's like two dollars for toothpaste. <laughs> what is, what like- is this world? <laughs> what? like oh, everything good. is so much more expensive there so like i never even mm. buy coffee in new york because everything's just like a True. coffee is like seven dollars or something what? Like crazy like even like starbucks like, is more expensive yeah like here it's like five dollars for a coffee and but i'm like that's expensive seven like, us $7. even the us to it's australian like, that's like 10 bucks damn oh, my heart. i know i know Those, so, so, like did Sorry. you always want to move to New York? Like, was it your, always your mm. dream or like, has it just like worked out that way? Cause like, I know you're um, at a, do you call it college or uni over there for like design? Uh, I'm at, I'm in college right now, but yeah. I know you guys call it university or uni, yeah. you know, <laughs> uni. <laughs> but I go to, yeah, I go to the new school and um, I used to go actually for my first semester, I went to Parsons. So like my college is oh, hard right. to explain because nobody understands, but my college is the new school. And then within oh. the college, there's different schools. So like, I That's went to Parsons, cool. which was the art school. So I went to like the art design school for a semester and I recently just transferred and I'll start this semester at the liberal arts college. So I'll be doing media and like entertainment, oh, which is really exciting. Perfect. Um, <laughs> perfect it ties in me, so, so well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Timed it very well. Really? I wouldn't have so. picked it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't think entertainment and media is my thing at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> really bad so, choice there. <laughs> yeah, it was a terrible mistake. But before that, I was in photography, which I don't know why I oh, did nice. that. Because I, mm. I like photography, but it was, it was more of a hobby rather than like mm-hmm. a passion and like a career yeah. then yeah. um you know but I'm excited for this new chapter to start so yeah yeah because when I did a little stalk I saw that you like at the school of design and because like on your Instagram and everything like your TikToks you've got such great fashion that I was like maybe he's doing fashion I was like maybe he's doing something like that but no that makes sense like entertainment media like good choice good choice yeah I know. I wish I could do fashion. Like I would want to be a fashion designer, but I don't have the design skills for that. But oh, I love to wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Is fashion like your thing? No, not your thing, but one of your things. Like, are you very into that? I am very into fashion, but I feel like people don't know that because I don't really show it. I like rarely post on Instagram. I like rarely. I need my goal for 2021 was like to post on Instagram as much as I can because I'm like I like wear cute outfits all the time, but no I one can sees tell. them. Cause- like I was, like you. I recently followed you and I was like no there's something like he knows his stuff like every fit was like great I was like this mm. is not okay I'm jealous <laughs> oh thank you so is that so you're studying media such entertainment at the moment which uh, basically ties into TikTok but what is like the what, what would you like if you could pitch yourself in five years like what would your most ideal situation be well before all this TikTok stuff happened like my goal was always to work in some form like I've always like liked the entertainment industry and like that kind of stuff. But like my end goal, like, I don't know, five years, but like, I would love to be like a host of something or like mm. work for E! News or like Bravo or something. Like I love that kind of, like I love reality TV. I love um, I like red see, carpets and yeah. stuff like that. I oh could see God. being one of like the, what, like um, one of those drama channels on YouTube, like a clever person. Like, yes, yeah. yeah. When I was little, but like I was better, like, I but want, better because yeah, clever. But better. <laughs> when I was little, I was like, I would literally watch Clever News and be like, I want to be Jocelyn Davis. I want to be the host of Clever News. And now that I I'm could older, do that I'm like, better. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm older, I'm like, I don't know if I want to work for Clever News, but like, yeah, did they better. die? They had like some big issues, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And I remember like crying about it because Clever <laughs> News was like my everything growing up. Like, I watched every single episode. So, like, the Daily Hollywood rundown, like, I loved Clever News. <sighs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah, they're back now, but I don't know if they're better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but they lost a lot of people and stuff. But now yeah, they're back, but not mm. as good. No, I could see you having mm. like your own. Like you could even like make it into like a 
ooh, like a TV show, like, you know, like a talk show, but like for just drama. Like it's not yeah. even like Alan or like hosting. It's just like I'm telling the like the TV yeah. on TV. <laughs> yeah, there's no guest. It's just me. Yeah. No, just the, <laughs> I just address the drama. <laughs> like, yeah. sitting there, like, it's going to be like a news channel. It's like oh, recording yeah. live. Like, like, Selena Gomez is under and then just like images reason. in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the video of Jeffrey Star like running away from Kanye's house. Yeah. <laughs> that video out. was hilarious. I died. <sighs> um, you mentioned that you love reality TV, and it's funny you say that because I was actually so I was doing a bit of Googling on you and I Googled um just a bit of stalking, like light stalking. Research. I um Googled <laughs> Davis Burleson drama because I was like, let's see if he's been in any drama. And the first thing that came out was an article of yours on Medium about reality TV. Yes. Oh my gosh. I wrote that article in high school, which is so funny. I'm surprised you found that. And I, so I watched a YouTube <laughs> video about like how I, I would love making money any way, shape or form. I love, I, oh, would, I always try to make money. So <laughs> in high school, I was like, how can I make money without having to like really do any work? So oh, I was, I was that's like, that's what we all want. The, yeah, we all want that. So like on YouTube, I found this girl that was like, I get paid to write stories. And like, um, I watched a video and she like wrote a story that she was just passionate about or like an article and uploaded it to Medium. And mm. um, she got paid like a thousand dollars from her story she that is. she wrote. And I was like, wait, I have this article that I wrote in high school for like my English class about reality TV. That's kind of interesting. Let me upload it to Medium. Yeah, um, me- yeah Medium or Medium. Um, but yeah, I got paid zero dollars. That's it. <laughs> so it didn't work out. <laughs> but I'm not I recommending tried. that. Side <laughs> See, I was about to be like, watch me go watch all the- uh, write all these like articles. And then here, like, nah, they like, nothing. And I'm like, like okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked for her it worked for the girl that made the video i don't know if the video was sponsored by them you know like you never really know <laughs> true true very quick yeah. side note do you like survivor survivor oh my god i love survivor growing <gasps> up i love yes. survivor the yes. obsessed. Thank you. I'm obsessed with <laughs> oh my the american god. one but i'm like i feel like now americans actually like it because it's yeah you know, but no love it Anyway, I always wanted to be on Survivor, but now that I'm older, like when I was little, I was like, oh, I need to be on Survivor. Like that's my, that's my way. And I could totally survive. Now that I'm older, I'm like, I don't think I could do that. Maybe Big Brother is a little bit better for like air yeah, conditioning and like, you know, like Big Brother like, is more my food, kind of place. like food, a yeah, bed. Food nice. Actually be able to yeah. eat. <laughs> a bed yeah, sounds really A shower. Nice. <laughs> exactly. So you said um, that when in, when like trying to do this article, you were keen for ways to like make money with as less work as possible. When doing something like TikTok, is that for you? Is that something which like requires a little work, or is that like a pretty intense commitment for you? I would say it's like more work than I've ever done in my life. Like my videos <laughs> like take so much time. I work yeah. so hard on them. Um, but like it's different than like working hard and not being passionate about it but like I work so hard because I'm so passionate about it it's not really about the money for me like I just right. love love making content for people it's so much fun and like the money is just a great little side thing that comes with it um but like yeah I, just, I would make the videos still even if I wasn't making money because like when you said you edited it on your computer I'm like that's commitment that is oh effort. yeah <laughs> here i am just like expecting people i don't know why i thought like tiktokers just kind of do it on their phone and like write a little bit it's done no like well, yeah th- some this, people this... do but like i for like for my like i make a lot of like povs and stuff yeah. like which require a lot of like fast little cuts yeah. and stuff so which would take so little... long to get like perfect you know yeah, even, and, I th- mm. <laughs> and i think people don't really understand that because like i do a bit of editing and it's like even just like choosing which order the clips go in where to cut yeah. them like it's like more way more than people would expect mm. i know and especially like i sometimes do like three a day so like doing that every single day is just consistent like my back hurts i'm like leaning over i'm like on iMovie <laughs> like I'm, like oh yeah. gosh this is a and long even, time like, on the up- screen with the content like for three in a day the content for it to be original and like good like the ones you make i'm like i can't even think of one i'm like i just like could probably copy somebody like is a kind of idea and i'd be like that's g that's okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> and keep yeah, up with the hard. trends yeah, yeah. the trends yeah. I'm not the most trendy. I don't really keep up with the trends. I kind of just like do whatever I feel, like whatever I dream of. I like wake up in the middle of the night. I'm like, oh, that's good. And I'll just write (laughs) that down really quickly. But I need to start doing trends as well as what the content that I do because I feel like trends can help you, you know, like grow a little bit more. you also like make the trends. Like now Willy Wonka is doing your POV stuff. So like, look, look, you don't need to follow the trends when you make it. Yes, I can be a trend maker, not a trendsetter. I mean, I'll be a trendsetter. Trendsetter, yeah. I can be a trendsetter. Not yes. a trend follower. <laughs> exactly. 
Exactly. I think um lots of people are like keen to jump onto like TikTok and YouTube and stuff like that, but then they start and realize it's a lot of work and like drop off. <laughs> so, me, that yep. was me, me back just when I was like directly at Ali. Like, <laughs> so I mean, so like, how do you personally stay, I guess, motivated and productive? Like you say, you do like three a day. Do you have like a game plan, a strategy? Like, how do you stay motivated and productive? Um, I would just say I like stay motivated by just keep I keep I always I just always have my mind focused on TikTok because yeah. I just love it so much it's not just I'm yeah. not doing it just for the fame or just for the money or anything like that I just love like being myself on the internet it's just so fun I love being in front of a camera so it's so much fun for me so that's like how I stay motivated because it's like all I have basically like, I just love doing it. it's like my job like yeah. I treat it like my job even though yeah. like I don't make enough money for it to be my full-time job but like yeah I just love it and I'm yeah that's how it's so motivated just love it okay yeah. so don't do anything you don't love basically yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> but like some days I'm like oh my gosh I just really really don't want to do this today do and then I'll just won't do it <laughs> just so but, good no. yeah but then you need that I, balance like, yeah exactly and also like I try to like put my phone like I'm, I'm addicted to like refreshing that little refresh button <laughs> it's kind of a, a huge habit of mine that I love to do I'll just sit there yes. and just click notifications 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 yeah it's kind of satisfying to like watch it go like yeah. to watch it <laughs> to watch your video Build like start to do well you build up yeah mm. and like reading comments and stuff but like sometimes I notice that like whenever a video is doing really really well I'll like sit on my phone I could I could be on my phone just refreshing for like an hour and then I'll like mm. look up and be like this is sad like I need to put this away and just you know <laughs> be in the moment right now like just 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 let it happen like yeah. you don't need to be refreshing and then sometimes I'll notice like whenever a video is not doing well or like my account is just not doing that well right now, I start to get really sad. I'm like, oh my gosh, mm. I'm doing terrible right now. Like I need to make another video to do better again so I can have yeah. more notifications. I think that's what also keeps me motivated is like I'm addicted to like refreshing. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, the I need a good video so that I can refresh again. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And get more comments. What, what do you like, like obviously this is like a new thing this year like with back being back in Houston like I guess you're with your parents and like your family yeah. like what did like what do they think of it at all like I don't like my mom like with, with the podcast she kind of asks about it every now and again but how have they reacted to like you blowing up even your friends that like you had before which I'm sure you still got yeah. but <laughs> no, they, they just left you. They completely Bye. left. I've got two hundred eighty thousand followers now. <laughs> yeah, um, they, my family loves it. They think it's so fun. Like, uh, so like whenever I first started, like in April, I was like, I'm going to be TikTok famous. Like, I'm going to make this happen. Mm. I want this so badly. Um, and they were like, okay, like, they're like, good it. job, like, okay, good job, good luck. And I was like, look, I got a video that got like ten thousand views. Like, they're like, oh, cool. My dad, whenever I got a video that had like my first video, they got like. 30,000 likes or something I was like dad look at this like, I am so like look at this I'm like famous now or whatever and he was like he was like when do you start making money I was like, <laughs> um, I was like I can start making money when I have 100k and he's like how many do you have I'm like I have like 2,000 followers um <laughs> like, okay okay cool I was, he's like, like he's come dying, talk so. to me when you get that <laughs> yeah when you, get now we see game, where come talk to me. you get your little money hustle from yeah, so, exactly. yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, my family loves it. But now that now that this has all happened and stuff, they think it's so cool. And like my sister loves it. My brother has been saying like, it's like this is helping me with the ladies. Like they just love your videos and stuff. <laughs> my brother will always FaceTime me when he's like with a girl or something and be like, hey, she wants to say hi to you. I'm like, hi. She's like, <laughs> like hey guys <laughs> but yeah my family loves it my friends think it's so cool they always are like texting me and stuff they also the coolest thing that my friends think is like that when the famous people follow me that's when mm. they like freak out yeah. like when Dixie D'Amelio follows me or like oh. people that are on like famous on the app like they freak out over that that's, yeah and that's what they that's what my friends love about it <laughs> <laughs> have you had any like awkwardness from it like has any of your relationships changed or people trying to like reach out to you or be your friend now that what didn't show you much time before I would say not not like be my friend but I've noticed a lot of like a lot more people commenting on my photos and stuff like that uh -huh. weren't before <laughs> um and then like a lot of people saying like I miss you like let's hang out soon you know, but then so, never. Like, you know I'm like I'm like I miss you too whatever um but like nothing really <laughs> nothing nothing really too crazy but just people a lot of people are just nicer to me I guess <laughs> whenever yeah. I see them but nothing too crazy that's good like though <laughs> like no drama speaking yeah, of drama, no drama like okay this is like just a random question because i just love to know 
If you had yeah. to pick any like other TikToker or influencer to have drama with, oh. who oh. would you pick? Like who who would you be like, I want to have drama with them just because it'd be fun or like yeah. crazy? Give you the clout. I yeah. think it would be fun to have drama with um, Ann Mills, Noah Miller. Do you know him? <laughs> yep. The only reason why I'm hesitant to say this is because I know the Ann Mills like army is strong and they will like beat me down you know <laughs> but i feel like yeah, to be at your like door be, yeah they'll be find your address yeah. like, he said on the podcast he's in texas at the moment we're going to <laughs> yeah exactly exactly have you had any like scandals or any sort of drama yet i really i have not luckily <laughs> we love so well, my, fingers crossed my follow-up question was because a lot of like relevance actually comes from drama now I know. Is that ever on your mind? Like, oh, maybe I should say Theo something. Theo just loves drama. He's <laughs> loved it since, like, we were in year seven. It's, he was 13. Yeah. He, like, thrives off it. So he's like, please make drama. No, it's like, not about loving drama. I'm just saying, like, you see all these people and it's like everyone hates them, but everyone hating them is kind of what keeps them at the top. So is it ever yeah. comes like, to mind? Like, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Trisha Paytas is still around. So are you ever yeah. like, oh, a bit of drama might be helpful? Yeah, recently, I, like, that's funny you say that because in the last, like, kind of month or something, I was like, hmm, like, I feel like I haven't gotten into any drama. And I feel like if I did do something that wasn't too bad, but just a tad bit bad, then people yeah. would like start mm. to get to know me. And like, yeah. I don't know. I, but on, I do agree with you that like being in drama can definitely help you. Like no press is bad press. You know, they say that. Um, I feel like, honestly, you're right. That it, no press is bad press. And like being in drama can actually help you. But I haven't been in any yet. So, But also it'd be so <laughs> stressful. Like I don't know how people mm. handle it. I know. I get one hate comment. I'm like, oh my god, everyone hates me. <laughs> the <laughs> like world is turning comment. against me. <laughs> yeah, I get one comment being like, you're annoying, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm the it's like so I, I am, but well. I don't want you to tell me. Like, <laughs> I'd be like, yes, I am annoying, but like, can we keep it to ourselves? <laughs> like, you have to say that loud. But I was something controversial, and then just like give my phone to my friend and be like, here, I don't yeah. want to know what happens for the next <laughs> week. Just hide under a blanket <laughs> for like two months until, or not even yes. two months. Probably there'll be something pop up in like a like yeah. a couple weeks, and you've been. Mm-hmm. yeah but you like you point out that i love drama ali but it's actually it's funny it's like it's toxicity kind of thing where i feel like we all like claim to be like so against drama stars and everything but i think there's like this evil part of all of us that thrives off the drama <laughs> and it's like that's why that's why it drama. keeps going that's why trisha paytas is still here we love it i know everyone's mm. like i hate trisha paytas and and you know but if you think about it, at the end of the day like like a couple, like a year ago, nobody was talking about Trisha Paytas at all. Like yeah. she was completely irrelevant from like, nobody was talking about her anymore. And now she's on TikTok and just yeah. saying whatever the hell she wants <laughs> because she wants the check, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. That's like why all that drama with like D- David Dobrik or, and all that kind of stuff, when it blew up, I was yeah. like, okay, she's relevant. And then she died down and obviously she knew what she had to do. She got yeah. the bag She's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's been on the internet for like 13 years or mm. something. So yeah. she knows what to do. Are you very involved in like the kind of mid-range TikTok community at all? Like, have you made many like friends or relationships from this? Yes, I have. I haven't made a lot of like in-person friends, but a lot of people mm. like on the app, I've like became like good friends with and stuff um, like through like mutuals and stuff. But yeah, oh, everyone so is nice. so incredibly nice. Like I love everyone on the app. It's so sweet. Like, especially when somebody really famous that I've like looked up to has followed me. I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is just so weird. They know who I am. Yesterday. Um, I literally screamed and nearly cried. <laughs> Jamie Lynn Spears, the Zoe 101. Oh, yes. Follow. Stop. Me. Yes. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> they and I Ooh, love Zoe 101. I know you see me standing here. <laughs> Ooh, I love good night. Night. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I have, wow. I'm one step closer oh. to Britney. And I want to yeah. look closer to saving Britney. <laughs> yes, that's all we have to do. Save her and we'll be G. And you'll, maybe Britney. you'll be the one. Yes. <laughs> you'll be the one to do it. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I see that like once like we became mutuals, like I can message her now. I'm like, do I say something? Do I not? <laughs> okay, Jamie, um, I mean, how, how yeah. are we rescuing her? Yes. <laughs> like, what are we going to do? What do we need to do? <laughs> yeah. Tell me where and when and I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What well, I guess like that could be one. I was gonna say like what has been like the biggest kind of moments or experiences or like interaction which has made you feel like wow I've made it or wow I'm making it like. Mm. Um, 
probably okay i haven't told anybody that i only told my friends this but i'll say it on here um <laughs> so basically this yeah this is this is an exclusive for you guys but oh basically gosh. a couple oh. i don't know how long ago this was this was like in december like december 15th ish i'm going yeah. to bed i'm like checking my phone or something and i get a notification i only get notifications from tiktok when somebody follows me that i already follow so yeah. i always know that it's a good notification because i'm like oh somebody that i follow like oh. somebody famous followed me back so yeah. i check my phone and it says james charles followed you back oh. and i freaked and I was like, this is absolutely insane. I, I I literally started crying. I like ran to my sister. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna like, cry right I'm now like, for oh. you. I'm like shaking my phone. I'm like, look at this. She, um, James Charles literally just followed me. This is like I've I made it. Like I, I I'm done. I'm like, this is this is all. This is all I, I can need. pack my bags. Like Yes. And then TikTok, of course, is like message. It's like has that little thing. It's like message here. Like, do you want to send a message? You can oh. now chat. And I'm like, mm. should I chat him? Should I just let it be? I don't know what to do. Yeah, like what um, do I do? Like, so I messaged him and I said, hi, James, I can't believe you followed me. I'm such a huge fan. I'm literally obsessed with you. I love you so much. Like that was it. Yeah. And then yeah. he responds like within the minute saying, OMG, then sends it. Didn't need to follow. <gasps> sends it. Unfollows me. <gasps> <laughs> so I was what? like, oh my God, what is going on right now? I was, that hurts. I was <laughs> so bad and then I was just like what the hell like this is somebody oh. I look up to and he didn't even give me like a thank you or anything because I told him like how much I loved him yeah. and, like, I was- just like, oh my god the yes. courage to say that like yes. good on him for being so upfront. <laughs> yeah so that was for like five minutes I was like what the, f- what the hell like I hate James Charles it would have been like this is where my drama starts screenshots yes, I was like this yeah screenshots, screenshots, screenshots. <laughs> screenshots I know um and so then like five minutes later after me like being all sad that James Charles followed me he said that he couldn't follow me because of my Jeffree Star stuff and he didn't want to oh. and be involved in anything be which like associated oh. be associated with it mm. which like makes sense but at the same time like I, have like I feel like that's a bit of a cop out excuse. It's like, it took him five minutes to come up with that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like five minutes later. He's like, he was like, oh God, day. this could go wrong for me. How do I get out of this? How can I get out of this? And be... But he was like, um, he was like, you're, you're so sweet. I love your content so much, but I hope you understand. Okay. I was like, no worries. Love you too. But no worries. <laughs> I'm silently like cursing you in my head. Silently like, playing yes. your exposed you, TikTok. You literally made my night like the best night it's ever been and then ruined it right after. But you know, it's fine. <laughs> That is great okay. story to tell. Yeah. He build you up to break you down. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna come back stronger. <laughs> yeah, we already are. Like it's it's yeah. fine. You got that Jamie Lynn Spears followed. Like, does he have that? You're on the underside of the podcast. No, was he? he... Exactly. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Thank you for that exclusive. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> James Charles, like savage. Absolute savage. That's a savage. Like, who would like? To, I'm just shocked that he knows who I am. Like knows who yeah, I am. Yeah, so. who he does. I mean, that's good enough. You'll take yeah, that. Yeah, good enough. Who are like the people that have, or like the YouTubers, or, um, influencers, or even other random people? I guess that have been like most influential to you in like your TikTok world. Apart from Jeffrey Star. Or... <laughs> yeah. Apart from Jeffrey Star. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like who I really look up to in terms of like my content i really love benny drama if you guys know who that is um yeah. he does a bunch of um impressions and kind of po- povs and stuff i love his content yeah. he's he does more instagram stuff um but like i lo- love his video so much and that's what like i think he, he i like that's what inspired me to start doing like my povs and mm-hmm. my jeffree star stuff because he i see him dress up in these characters and play this person because before that i was always just being myself and doing my own being like my own person on the app now pretty much all I do is be other people which I'm trying to find a fine balance between like Mm. I need to be myself Mm. and also be other people because all I get are comments being like you're Jeffree Star you're Jeffree Star Jeffree Star like he sounds like Jeffree Star (laughs) I'm like okay I need yeah yeah. (laughs) Jamie Lee Curtis also yes (laughs) that that Jamie Lee Curtis profile picture will never change (laughs) everyone's just so confused by it and I just love everyone's confusion (laughs) I was like "Hmm, Jamie Lee like I kind of see it and then there there was that video where you like um ages ago and you like did it doing her different poses and it was like yes. the second one where she was doing like that little smirk and i was like that's him like <laughs> no, that's cool. yeah yeah that mm. was back when i had like two thousand followers somebody comments that and that was like the first time anyone had ever said somebody i looked like somebody and i was like oh okay i don't see it at all but this is my new profile picture <laughs> and i'm gonna make fun i'm gonna have fun with it i'll take it 
Yeah, but now the most, the one I get the most is um, Gordon Ramsay. I get literally every day. Oh, which I like a young oh, Gordon Ramsay. Yes, yes, which I Wait. like one thousand percent see. Okay, I see it too. Like I kind of see it. What the hell? <laughs> Gordon That's Ramsey. so funny. That's such a random. Oh my god, you could play him in a movie. <gasps> I know. Young Gordon like, Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay got married, and he could be like, it could be like his voice over talking about his childhood, and I'm like, yeah. And you're like, you know? yeah, the acting, like walking through the street, <laughs> yeah, the acting, like cooking, the they dish, can't sweat. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it's like Gordon Ramsay. He's like, I loved cooking. I don't even know how to do it. Like, I love cooking. I loved cooking. Me, like, I love cooking. It's me, like, like stirring a pot, like. <laughs> <laughs> so good oh that's awesome so i guess like just like a final couple of questions or maybe the last i've got just very random is what keeps you up at night <laughs> what keeps me up at night mm. <laughs> what keeps me up at night is is definitely tiktok scrolling scrolling mm. scrolling <laughs> i love to scroll and also just like me i'll just like sit there and like lay on my pillow and just think about what can I do for new TikTok ideas? It's what I'm always yeah. thinking about. Um, and it like a lot of times like it'll be like 3 a.m. and I'll like think of one little thing. And that's like what makes a whole new series that I did. Like, especially like my like that girl series that I'm doing right now. Yeah, that I've been loving, really which I love so much. Yeah. Mm. Like that one I just came up randomly one night. I was like, which the first one I did was that girl in the Uber which is like which mm. everyone is yeah. favorite one <laughs> i love I came that, up with that, that for randomly. people <laughs> yeah that's like, what not saying anything but <laughs> i didn't yeah. get it is that a good thing <laughs> i mean you kind of are that girl mm. <laughs> no, okay, no, i am that girl the, the that girl whole series is basically me but it's a girl <laughs> <laughs> i have a five star rating so i can't be that bad oh, oh. for you i have a 4.5 uh, oh that's so good something yeah it's not that bad <laughs> <laughs> oh and so final i was just gonna say like we have a little game kind of thing okay. that we'd love to play if you want to have time like what you're feeling but it's kind of unique and it's like based for you <laughs> okay it's based like on you so we pulled up this well theory you described yes. it because it was okay, your idea so, <laughs> so i was looking up like i was like all right let's do some research let's find out some information about davis and there's like all these like everyone has and there's all these like um like famous birthdays kind of pages where it's like very random dodgy sites where it has like facts about <laughs> you but the information is always like so iffy and it's like where did they get this stuff yeah. so this one is in particular is an article from tv guide time and so i wanted to just read across out read out some of these statements get your reaction you can tell us if it's true if it's fake news and just like see what you have to say about it. Mm, we're, we're ready to hear your comments to really just slam <laughs> I haven't them seen for this like one, so. false <laughs> advertisement. And we'll get like <laughs> gradually worse. So like okay. starting off, just like starting off, just starting off nice. Davis Burleson is a renowned TikTok star model from the United States. Not a model, but I'm flattered. <laughs> and I am a TikToker, so yeah. He is known for his looks, adorable grin, style, and amazing personality. I can't complain about that one. I love it. No, it's. I think it's great. They're really hyping you up. I was like reading yeah. it. I was like, there we go. Like <laughs> you can't like ask for anything better. Really adorable grin. I'll take yeah. it. Um, <laughs> now you will be before long observing him in modeling shoots. Uh, are they predicting the future? Because I hope yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> not, not that I know of. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll keep an eye out here. I'm just going to keep like refreshing maybe, your page. I'll be the one refreshing. Be like, where is that model shoot? Where is it? <laughs> maybe the TV guide time, like author has just seen you doing like Instagram photo shoots. And they're like, Ooh, yeah. Model. They're like, Ooh, it's a model. It. <laughs> Not a lot is thought about him. Look at his youth picture. Uh, <laughs> not a lot is thought about him. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know what that is, but that's so mean. <laughs> Like what? Like what are they trying to say? I don't get it. Maybe I don't like a lot. Of, they don't know much about me. Is that what they mean? I don't know. Yeah, they I mean, could have reached out my info. email to my bio. <laughs> <laughs> they could have been like, "Could you please confirm these facts? Do people think a lot about you?" <laughs> like, I, I'd like to think so. Um, Here's a picture taker by Energy. <laughs> well, you were in, even, you you you, you were at the design school for photography. Oh, so let's say true. yes. yes. But by yeah. energy, by energy, <laughs> I just I don't. I, don't I know think what that like means. maybe they're ten years old writing this article. Oh, maybe is it an AI like robot? Maybe it might be. So moving on to the um, heading, which says family, religion, and girlfriends. 
It says very Girlfriend. little. That's, that, that, that's the wrong part. <laughs> <laughs> very little is thought about his family and his own relationship. Maybe they mean Nobody like very cares. little is known. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe thought is known. Not a lot is known about him. Look at his youth picture. See, I'm just going back and like. Maybe this can be your side hustle. Be like, hey, if you're looking for an editor, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Wait, I want to ask this one. His zodiac sign is a Taurus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an Aries. <laughs> How could they get that wrong, though? That's kind of <laughs> awkward. No idea. Did they just guess? Like, I don't understand. Like, did they just say, like, oh, he seems like a Taurus? Does he it have materialistic. The energy. The energy you get off him is Taurus. <laughs> Okay, doesn't have your it's... birthday. It says you're 22. You're 18 or 19? 18. Yeah, so not 22. Um, no. And you're, it says you're five foot five. No, I'm 5'11". And... Oh, like, that's embarrassing. Oh. That's yeah. embarrassing that's so how cool. wrong they are. 5'11", that's short. I need to email what? them. But it... Short? Short. <laughs> Five no, five, 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 five. Do we have five, different yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, I was like what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you are five five? No. <laughs> He's five eleven. They said five five. I was. I meant to say five five is short. And oh yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm like, whoa, five eleven is short. Like, I need to grow. Um, yeah, it's grow. He is very. Oh, they keep bringing up your model. Books. Yeah, they said he like, has he functions, has, as, he has an functions as an expert model. Like. What are you doing? You need a profit off know. this. I know. I'm kind of flattered. Quick like, sign to an agency. agency. I know. Okay. I'll, I'll like, link look. to the agency and be like, look, they said I'm a model. <laughs> TV guide said I'm a model. Yeah. So okay. Just <laughs> highlight. Just TV highlight. guide time is like, like <laughs> doing the manifesting for you. Like they're putting it into the world. Like, <laughs> um, he's yeah. A model. He's a model. On my resume, I can like put it in quotes and be like, TV guide <laughs> said model <laughs> expert. Expert model. <laughs> yeah. Or well, they like say, posting his amazing pictures on Instagram. Wow, they're really mm, nice. Their pictures are good. Yeah, they are. He says he's yeah, very famous for his sleek looks. He oftentimes transfers a shirtless pictures. <laughs> I've never posted a shirtless picture. But Maybe have you one. transferred Ooh, a shirtless often. picture? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have not. Where are they getting this I kind of want to write to them. I low-key want to write and be like, what does this mean? What does this mean? Or it says you oh. endorse different brands. Sometimes. You endorse different brands. I love that. Of course. Though. Like that means a brand deal, right? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, yes. Then yes. Okay. They're, that's really, they haven't said anything else. So that is like, Davis Burleson in the show. <laughs> yeah. Expert Thank model. You, you want to know a Adorable green. <laughs> five, five. That's about it. Five, and a five. Taurus. Love mm-hmm. not have a shirt on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Specifically so, like, transferring shirtless pics. If you were to yeah. write your own bio, like a little, let's say a little bio about you. Oh. What what would you include? Oh gosh. Um, I would say um, Davis Burleson is a TikTok creator on I mean, a creator, a content creator on TikTok. He's 18 years oh. old, lives in New York City. He is known for his impersonations of Jeffree Star. He loves to do point of view videos, comedy, and showing his day in the life in New York City. And he loves oh, fashion. He's got that ready. And, yeah. He's like, <laughs> I'm ready to spit sorry, out my 30 like... second summary. Anyway, um, I think that I brings just, us. Sorry. I just want to ask one last thing. Sure. Close so, is there anybody special in your life? Oh. Because, you know, it says they don't know anything about your relationships or your family. You said you have a sister and a brother. Is is there a boyfriend? There is no boyfriend. But okay. you, you want to know some, but something funny? I downloaded, right when I moved to New York, I downloaded Tinder and Hinge, yeah. those two dating apps. The Hinge one, I swiped left on every single man in New York City. <laughs> it literally said you ran out of options. And I was like, oh, God, this is, this is not good. <laughs> so that is the best thing ever. No, it just means, like, like uh, people are meeting your standards. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not meeting exactly. my standards. I have very high standards. So I downloaded Tinder and I was like, okay, this is better. More people use Tinder. Like, this yeah. is better. So oh, wait, left the bad one. Is yeah, like, swipe left is like yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, and then I downloaded Tinder. I, like, ma- I matched with four people. And three out of the four knew me from TikTok. And their opening line was like, hey, Jeffree Star. Ooh. And I was just like, uh-huh, I don't know if I like yeah. this. This is not my vibe. Because I feel like if they said that, that's the only reason why they swiped. You know yeah, I mean? mm. exactly. So then, like at least like have a, like a, like a substance conversation, a conversation with substance. And then like yeah. be like, hey, I actually have seen your videos and I like them. Like don't just yeah. like, 
so TikTok famous. Love that for yeah. you. Please. We're like, at least comp say TikTok famous. Not even say. Yeah, all just Jeffree Star. Jeffrey Star. I have a well, name, dude. If you're going to try get in for clout, like, do a better job at faking it. Oh, like, yeah. yeah a, like, like why are people really so naked. bad? What's, what's your name? What do you do? Yeah. Mm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. I haven't heard of that. TikTok, what's yeah, that? TikTok, like, <laughs> yeah. Will you tag um, me in that Jeffrey Instagram Star? post <laughs> 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 later on? <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> so what is like next for you in terms of, or is there nothing? Like in terms of, is there Is a there goal? nothing? Is there no goals? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always so no, 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 but I mean, people always say what's next, but I'm like, you could be perfectly happy just thriving. You're, you're busy with uni. You're busy making fun TikToks. Like college, you know, college something. there. It's so college. You don't need to be like <laughs> doing something next, but is there a goal or like something you'd like to, like something you'd like to reach i'm starting something with this company i'm doing it pretty soon i start like in two weeks so you guys will see it can't talk about it which you know they always say that Mm -hmm. people are like oh i can't talk about it right now you've made it and you say you can't talk about something (laughs) i can't talk about it but it's going to be pretty cool i'm really excited about it and yeah it's that's oh my god i'm excited but, <laughs> but yeah that's exciting <laughs> i'm really excited about it and i'll i'll post about it on my tiktok and stuff so everyone will get to see it so, oh, yeah we love well <laughs> congratulations on that whatever it is i don't know Thank obviously you. but congratulations <laughs> um and yeah i can't see what like happens like obviously you just keep going up so mm. there'll be model shoots in the future obviously like <laughs> <laughs> like can't wait to see so everyone follow <laughs> Davis's Instagram for more sleek looks and potentially some shirtless pics in the future. <laughs> um, <laughs> where, <laughs> where can they find you? You can find me on TikTok at Davis Burleson too. I'm trying to get that too removed. They literally won't let me remove it. So okay, when I was it. like finding you, I was like, wait, this is an account. Is like, is this his second account? Why is there a two? Yeah. Was- uh, I, I'm working on it. They said that I emailed. So they said like in 30 days, I can get that two removed. So if Ooh. you're watching this 30 oh. days from now, the two may be gone. Have and someone already find... searched up Davis Burleson? Well, I, so my old account on Musical.ly was Davis Burleson. Oh. But like oh, not, the account got like deactivated, but like the username was still like in use or something. Yeah. So I had to like log in on Musical.ly. It was like a weird thing. I don't know, but trying to get it removed. And then on Instagram <laughs> at just Davis Burleson. Perfect. Awesome. Everyone go check out Davis. Thank you so much, Davis, for coming on and sharing about yourself. We had a blast. And yeah, you're so fun. Yeah. You're such a fun guest. I so know. You you're so such much. a good person to like interview or like have a chat with. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, thank you guys so much. 10 out of 10. <laughs> thank you. I'm so excited to listen back after. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, we my are God. back. I can't. I think he's my new favorite person. And I'm not just saying that to like be like because we had him on here but like he's so much fun yeah that that was really that was really uh, like good vibes right now yeah like good vibes yeah so guys let us know what Ah. you thought about our chat with davis um and thank you again obviously to davis for coming on because i really enjoyed that that was really interesting it felt like you know with us how lots of people say the podcast is like we're chatting like we're friends Mm. and like that's the whole kind of thing it still felt like that with davis which i felt like was really good like although it was a bit of an like it was an interview and like we hadn't really like met before properly or anything or talked at all we actually haven't that like we were already friends we we're having a conversation more than like it being back and forth yeah it felt very natural and just yeah chill i really liked it we're gonna move on now to finish up before before we finish out with our little segment section now a new segment section. exactly yeah so we've got a bunch of things as you guys know last week we introduced our new anonymous submission box um yeah. so you can dish all your stuff including Ooh. Some secrets, some dilemmas, some unpopular opinions. We don't really know how we want it to play out, but we're thinking like maybe a couple of them one week and then switch it to a couple of them next mm, week. We're going to test a few yeah. different things. But today, we thought we would do... People picks. And then a device picks. question. And a little dilemma. Oh, fuck, a dilemma. Sorry, I keep like <laughs> messing it up. I'm in a little dilemma. Um, So I think we should start with a dilemma. I've got mm. one here. Lay it on me. I'm keen. Okay. okay. So this person... Says. I feel like now that we've got a lot of these and we never usually get it, so I feel like people are like, this is anonymous now. I can really yeah, lay it out there. Like, oh, so I'm expecting some juice. True. They go on to say, well, first they start with a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> is that the reason I picked so it? Well. No, but did it help? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, they go, just want to start off by saying that I fucking, oh, freaking love your <laughs> podcast and can confirm I have listened to every one since day one. 
every single Thank one since you. day one. I've met this guy on Ubo. Ubo. I think it's one of those like we always see like ads for oh, like TikTok, yeah, d- yeah, like, to yeah, make yeah, friends. To make friends. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we were talking for about four months. That's a long time. Mm. Um, and he was clearly into me. Obviously, obvious flirting and tell me cute stuff like how happy I make him and how perfect I am, etc. Okay. Cute love. However, in the course of an hour, we went from talking about how excited he was to hang out with me and be with me to then saying, in fact, he didn't want to do anything. That's odd. Okay. That's very odd. That's like weird. Um, he then explained that he was talking to another girl and yeah. Oh my God, I would have cried. So four months she spent. Four months of her life. Um, he then told me he still wanted to be friends and I agreed because I generally cared for him still. The next day, he changed his profile photo on Instagram to a pic of him and his the girlfriend. Next day, his girlfriend. They settled down so quickly. Wait, yeah. What? Anyway, I am low-key feel bad for her, to be honest. Anyways, we would continue talking in a friend's mm. kind of way. My guess okay. is like Ali texting Theo when she had feelings for him. <laughs> right cool yeah that's fine um for like a week after then after that i realized i still had strong feelings for him so i decided it was better if i didn't mm. talk to him anymore was it ever too hard to talk to me no. when you were madly in love no it okay. wasn't why do you think it was no i'm just saying this feel- girl was struggling because yeah. it wasn't reciprocated no, i feel like because we were just like i think the only reason our friendship stayed so strong after all the shit i put you through is because we were we were just really good friends. We were always friends. Yeah, yeah whereas yeah. this started as like a little you both yeah. flirtation. Yeah, like I feel like if yeah. that was the case for us, we would not be friends. No. Yeah. After that, I realized there's still a strong feelings for him, so I decided it was better if I didn't talk to him anymore as it was like rubbing salt in an open wound. He, about three months later, sends me a message. We start talking again, friends kind of way. And after two weeks of that, he tells me that he's... Girlfriend is moving to boarding school in Sydney next year. Bye. And doesn't think the long distance would work. Then about another month after that, he tells me that they broke up. <gasps> we continue talking and it slowly progresses to him flirting kind oh. of stuff. This The issue is that I felt happy when they broke up. Oh. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because I genuinely have feelings for him and want to be with him. Except I don't want just to be his rebound. Like Ooh. if he genuinely cared for me, cared about me, would he have chosen me in the first place? I don't know what to do. Quite oh. the issue. Oh, so much to unpack there. Mm. Like my first thing is, was he with the girlfriend the whole time or did they become girlfriend the day after? So that means they were talking. He was talking to both of them together. At like, the same time. time. Which is like fine, obviously, because I do that. But, uh, <laughs> but like it's the fact that then he went from talking to two girls to then getting a girlfriend straight away. Like if I felt like if I was talking to all these guys, which I do, um, and and then <laughs> but one really stuck out to me, and then I like was thinking about getting him as a boyfriend. I would stop talking to the other guys for a little bit, and then us, you know. Then- well, you were recently. This could be a little. You were recently <sighs> in a situation where you did have two people. Which you yeah. really liked at the same time, right? Yeah. But you were very unsure for a while. There was, yeah, there was like a week or two where I was very unsure. But do you think if you, so they're both like dissolved in different ways yeah. around the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no more. But you were kind of thinking like you both, you really liked both these guys and you were going to have to ultimately you choose, choose one. one. Yeah. Do you think if you had gone with one, you would have had to like wait? Yeah. To make something proper. Yeah. And I would have because well, I probably would have wanted to anyway. Cause yeah. Like- that's what I'm saying. Like I, with the two guys, they were very different. And like, I was spending time with them at the same time. Not the same time, but like. Mm. <laughs> I think that's okay and though. It People is, think it, it is. Yeah. Like it stresses me out, but just because I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Right. Um, not because like it's a bad thing to do, but yeah, I didn't feel comfortable. Oh, I'm really exposing myself. And I did this last week, but like, I didn't feel comfortable like seeing one person that day and then seeing another guy the next day. Yeah, right. Like, it just made me feel like, not that I was cheating or anything because mm. I wasn't committing to any of them, but I didn't feel right about emotionally cheating or whatever. Like, right. emotionally, like, investing in two people. At yeah, I don't know. Hard. We should talk yeah. about that more properly yeah. some other time, but it's, because it's interesting. Yeah, it's it does feel kind of dirty, even though it's like, not. you should be open to seeing multiple people at once. Yeah, but I, I just... And, like, how like open it. do you have to be to the other person about it? Yeah, well, no, that was the that was the. Hard, I think we should talk about this next episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I think like there's a. I think we should do like a love, like sex, like virginity Ooh, episode. Oh, next episode. I think that'll be okay. fun. Next I'll episode. Like, yeah. Episode after. Yeah. We should do that for now. Back and to we'll, this we'll, girl's we'll issue. Back, not <laughs> my issues. Well, wow, just making about myself. Um, She's no. Like, Hello. Yeah, but my me. thing is like, were they dating while she was talking to him, and then also. 
he's really showing signs that he's not the best person because no, he was still talking to her after he's clearly like keen to like keep his options open yeah well the thing is like when he was dating the girl he was still talking to her even though they had been like flirtiness in the past like if say we were dating right and then i don't know say i was talking to this other guy and talking to you at the same time but then ultimately Mm. i picked you but then while i was dating you i was still talking like friendly but talking Mm. to this other guy like it seems like low-key like it's not like full full cheating but it's like you were romantically speaking to this other guy like why were you doing that yeah i mean i think in terms of the whole rebound thing i don't think she needs to worry that much no, not the rebound thing i'm just saying like be careful like he's not showing good signs here you know yeah it's not great signs but like she's aware of it i think like what's the worst that can happen if you are genuinely interested in him yeah give it a crack like the rebound it's, it's also really hard when you really really like someone to just be blinded by how no, dumb just things because, they do. No, oh yeah. But no, like when you really, really like somebody, you want to make whatever you can work, really. Yep. So I get it. And like, unless he does something really like red flaggy, I think just like... Just and like some people, it. sometimes there are you can like two people at once. Oh, Like 100%. obviously you want to commit to one if that's the relationship. But he might've been like, no, I do like this girl. You, I know you from Ubo online. I'm going to actually date this girl. Now she's gone away. But like, you've probably still been in, in the back of his mind and I think yeah. that's okay. And now he's like, hi. Yeah. I think you just like, don't like, just play it by ear. Like you're young. It, like, you're fun. Like, no, I'm you're like, free. But, like, it's like, don't, Mm. Just let's just do whatever we want. Like it's that's let's not like really try to think advice. about it too much. Yeah, if it comes down crashy, yeah. that's fine. You can, you can say how to heartbreak. All you can do is like do things from your perspective you in the moment. Yeah, you can't worry mm. about what he's what's going on with him. And like, of course we do, but I think you really got to focus. What do you want? What do you want out of this? You don't know what he actually wants. No, yeah. What do you want? You want him? Fine. Fine go for go it. for it. Exactly absolutely go for it but yeah that's my advice don't know if it's good advice <laughs> um what's, what's the next segment <laughs> what's the next part of the segment oh it's can't move it didn't start with it but we've got a couple of people I, i've changed it already already oh. people picks that makes me want to die even more <laughs> <laughs> that literally the little yeah. vibrato Great, so much fun. Okay, the first one comes in from unknown because it's all anonymous. <laughs> so sad. I'm like, I'm just saying who's wrong. But um, she says, he says, they says. They say. Podcast recommendations. Oh, oh, I've got this. Um, Bovo and Flex. <laughs> um, whatever I want by Flex Bobby. Shameless is really good. Oh. oh, there's just so many good ones. What about you? I'm trying to think what I listen to consistently because like, I go through phases at the moment. Oh, my fa- I listened to a friend of me's um, with Trisha Paytas and H3. It is so entertaining. Really? It, like, so funny and just entertaining. Every- I hope listen to friend of me's. I don't. I posted I in the group, like, only a couple people listen. I'm like, you guys are missing out because Trisha is just the most random, crazy, literal person yeah, ever. Yeah, she's just wild. And the fact that she, like, keeps on continuing and to, she like, just, ha- like... I know she's problematic, but she just does whatever she wants. Yeah. And I kind of admire that she's just like oh it is whatever you guys can try cancel me good luck like yeah good luck i'll be back (laughs) i listen to this podcast which is really interesting um i have to be in the right mood but um sorry i'm trying to find it i've been trying to stay more up to date so now for last week when i've like driven home from the gym i listen to the squiz podcast which is like a seven minute little fun news i'm like just can, pretends like I'm up to date with what's going on. Oh. I also listen to this one by the Survivor Dude. Of course you do. <laughs> but he's really, he's hilarious and interesting. It's called the Purple Pants Podcast. Good vibes. Um, So I listen to Flex's semi-factual history lessons. She has, How many podcasts this girl has? has? Four. Four? Yeah, she's got f- four. No, she's got three. But I also love this one that she put me on to and it's called this is actually happening where it has like stories of just random people that like weird things happen mm. so like for example the one um i just listened to is what if you got a job transporting dead bodies and then like other ones is what if you're an alcoholic at age nine and it's all oh. these just random stories and like what if you need you used to speak in tongues like mm. it's so interesting and it's there about um I don't know how long, like 40 minutes or half an hour. And they're so yeah. good. And it's like, just, it, there's nobody hosting it or anybody. It's just this person, like, um, the person telling the story, like whose story it is, just talking. And like, oh, obviously right. the person's asking questions and stuff, yeah. but you can't hear them. And it's so good. But I also listened to Tiny Meat Gang 
uh, with Noel and Cody Ko. Oh my god, I love that. I never have. Funny. Really? But They're so no. funny. I love the like love the but yeah, that's that's my little and of course the undecided gen. <laughs> the best of them oh but yes let let us know if you've got any good podcasts because i want to like expand and also listen to some ones which would actually be kind of helpful mm. like i'm like i need to start this stuff will actually make me a more <laughs> like educated person true um our next people pick and this is a bit of a double up because we did this last week but neither of us really knew much and then we kind of got distracted and ended up talking about rebecca black and as i was listening i was like wait you guys forgot the point of what the people pick was <laughs> But we got Olivia Rodrigo again. Yes. But since we recorded... It's blown she's like up. blown up. And, like, of course we knew she was good and she, like, had a following stuff from High School Musical, the musical, this series. <laughs> but um, she is, like, number one on the iTunes charts, like, globally. Like, she, yep. like, her de- biggest debut ever, I think, ever. And, yeah, I saw all the things. It was, like, day one, she got two million streams, day to six million oh the day god. three was like 17 day four like 20 and it's like going crazy oh my god it's like literally everywhere is this song yeah and everybody's just playing it on repeat like i think i've listened to it every day like i'm gonna say 10 times <laughs> <laughs> um because i just like i drove i was driving like an hour back from my like kind of hometown and i listened to it nearly on repeat and i cried every single time i listened to it just thinking about a different one of your hinge matches every time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, tears are flowing. Like forgot. That's, okay. that's that guy gone. Tears are flowing. That's that guy. <laughs> Next one is Forgotten Adam. Yeah. You didn't mean it. <laughs> um, I have been seeing, though, it's one of those things where something, anything that gets that level of hype, yeah. always suddenly everyone like jumps over to the other side and like starts tearing hate. it down. Because yeah. I've started to see a bunch of people being like, you know, I don't get the hype. Like, uh, it's good, but it's not, it's so overplayed and stuff. Uh, and I'm like, I just, I just I don't have energy for that. It's like, well, it's people... just like, why do we have to tear people down when they're doing well? Like, it's a tall poppy syndrome. We have that in Australia mm. very prominently. I don't know about other countries, but I know it's a big thing here. Yeah. When anybody has any su- success or get, gets big, we have to make sure, like, we bring them back down. Not that we could ever bring her back down to our level, but like, <laughs> you know, try and bring her back down so she's not as, like, good as she is and like i just think yep. like she really did well her song's amazing she's 17 she's like, 17 like she wrote it herself like she's a nice person from what i've seen you know what i mean like there's nothing to not mm-hmm. like about her and like why should we hate on her for it's a song also kind of like not, i don't know individuality complex but like people don't like to do the thing which is like very popular they're like oh Ooh, yeah. this is so popular i have to be like even if it's just subconsciously people like kind of feel the need to do the other thing so they're like i have to stand out against this i've got to be that person that doesn't like it that thinks it's overplayed but then it's also i think i think it would be hard to be someone like that and go through your first like tear down like that yeah but i guess it's just one of those things to be like if i'm going to be this successful i know that i'm going to have like this much yeah hate hate is always it's just sad though because like i don't want it to like because she is only 17 and And it can like ruin stuff like it's stuff it's stuff which is kind of different but stuff like pokemon go Oh, Flappy yeah. bird. It's like this kind of thing where if something becomes so popular, then it's kind of just naturally she, everyone's like sick of it and overdone yeah. with it, and people are like oh, Olivia Rodrigo. Look, yeah. Hopefully, but it doesn't I feel ruin like, it. But we we're here for Olivia Rodrigo. I love her. But there's so much like I just see so much oh. people like unpacking between Olivia Rodrigo Joshua and Bassett. Joshua Bassett, and he drops that song "Lie Lie Lie." I know, but it's not about her apparently. But then the music video is very similar to hers and it's very weird. I don't know. There's and the timing. A, and I it's yeah. legit because apparently there was like a snippet that was really, he put out like a couple of years ago. Yeah. But the song is literally like, you're spreading all these lies I, about me. Yeah. Like you're putting dirty words on my name. And it's it's like, so sad <laughs> how invested I am in this. Like so invested in this. Like I'm why am I invested? I'm just saying like invested? they're on set together. Yeah, like, what, what's going to happen? Oh, you wrote Lie, Lie, Lie about me. You wrote that about me. Like, and he <laughs> shared her song on his story. And she didn't share it back. She shared everybody else's. And nobody's like commenting on his stuff, but then he's still like hanging out with them. Uh, is he? I saw she had one of the... <laughs> this is so dumb. But you know that Gina, yeah. the woman with yeah. the, the girl with the like, curly, uh, curly hair. hair, she had like a birthday party and they're all uh-huh. there and like he was there. Oh, see, it's just interesting. I don't know. And like, maybe it's not even about him. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so hard. Um, and, and like, also like, why do I care? Like, why, just... why do I care about a 17 year old? 
It's I mean, he's, he's 20, so it's no, a bit but better. It's, but it's 17-year-old's love life. Like, I know, but we can just pretend we're th- caring about the 20-year-old's love life because then it's more normal uh, to us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But I think that's it for this episode. Yeah, that was a good one. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I just, the interview was great. I think it's, it's good vibes all around. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We hope you're having yeah. an amazing life. <laughs> also, don't forget to go check out Davis on Instagram, mm. TikTok, Davis. Oh, we'll, we'll All his links will the be links. in the episode well, notes. Yes. I don't want to say it wrong. I don't want to get it wrong. But yes, he was so great to have on. And I can say that he was authentically like he is in the videos. 100%. Like, yeah. Like there was no fakeness. Like, like Unless he's just an amazing actor. And yeah. we're all fooled. Yeah. All sucked and in. We, we've been sucked in too. <laughs> no. But um, yeah, go check him out because he makes some funny TikToks. And mm. so he's got some new stuff as we heard coming, which can be really exciting. Um, Thank you for listening. You can find us at Ali underscore Malcolm or Theo.McCoy on Instagram or the Undecided Gen Z. And also on TikTok, we're starting to post a bunch of snip- yeah. snippets from the podcast. If you enjoyed, we would love it if you could leave a review a little rating and we might feature you on the next episode. Yes, if you are the only one, you will be featured <laughs> on the next episode. If you leave a review, you probably will be featured. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see you guys next week, of course. Oh, maybe before then. Oh. Um, we'll see you guys soon and we will see you on Monday as well. Every um, Monday. Every single Monday. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.